welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today I'm talking about being receptive. Be receptive. This is part two in the series of being, just being. The first one was be abundant. If you haven't checked that one out already, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. But today we're talking about being receptive. I feel like this is super important. And this is gonna just be a little quick video because I don't have much to say on the topic, but I do feel like it's super important. So before we get right on into the video, make sure you like it. If you like it, leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so starting off with a little affirmation for this video. I accept the guidance and assistance of the same force that created me. I let go of my ego, and I trust in this wisdom to move at its own peaceful pace. I make no demands on it. So by definition, to be receptive means willing to consider or accept new suggestions and ideas, and it also means able to receive something. So I feel like it's super important to be receptive because I think that when we're receptive, we're able to allow ourselves to learn and grow and make mistakes and ask for help and, you know, just be the best versions of ourselves ultimately. And I think being receptive is one of the most essential ways to do that. Because in all actuality, I feel like God or the universe or whatever you believe in wants to give you all that you know you deserve but you have to be receptive of that and that is so important because a lot of the time we you know complain that our life is the same that we aren't able to manifest and have a purposeful life and what is the reason behind that I think a lot of the time it could be that you aren't being receptive and is it possible that you could be wanting things but not wanting to ask for it? Is it possible that you are not even able to receive these things because of, you know, your mentality? Do you think that you are deserving and worthy of these things? There's so many questions because let's say for instance you're depressed, right? And depression is such a huge topic that, you know, I can't even begin. But let's just use that for an example. Let's say that you're depressed and um, you know you just complain about your depression that it never gets better but you don't even feel like you are worthy or deserving of not being depressed so really when when you don't even feel that you are worthy of something then you might not even get it because you're not going to be receptive of it. There could be so many people trying to help you with your depression. There could be so many solutions out there. But you might not even want to give those things a try. And that's you not being receptive to all the possibilities. And that's just one example um, of many. But I think it's important to know that you're worthy and deserving. And to just be receptive of all the things that are meant for you ultimately. So usually I have about 10,000 tips <laughs> to help you guys, but today, today is a new day, darling, because I only have three. And really, I could have made a long list of ways to help you be receptive, but it all boils down to these three ways, okay? So numero uno, number one, is to put your pride aside. You cannot be receptive if you are prideful because your pride and your ego says, I can do this on my own. I don't need anyone's help. I don't need anything from anyone. I'm great the way I am, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have to put your pride aside in order to be receptive of criticism, of, you know, people wanting to help you of everything, of change, of growth, you have to be receptive of those things. And that requires you putting your pride aside. I know that's difficult, but let's just move on to number two, which is ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. And in order to be receptive, you have to ask for help. You have to get inside opinion. I think that there's nothing wrong with asking for help because we can be knowledgeable about a lot of things but 
no one knows everything and at the end of the day there's going to be something that you might not know and you're going to have to ask for help it's important to ask for help right because we should always be in that student mode of learning and growing every day and tip number three in being receptive is to be able to receive and that can be difficult for a lot of people a lot of people don't feel worthy enough to receive all that they are meant to have you know sometimes you give people gifts and they just they can't receive it because they they don't understand it and that's kind of like what God wants to do for you give you gifts and if you are prideful and you're not asking for help and you know you're not being receptive, you can't even receive those gifts. And from personal experience, I know how important it is to do these three things and do them, you know, together simultaneously. It's so important. If I didn't ask for help and put my pride aside and be willing to accept help, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I wouldn't know how to even edit my videos or any of that if I didn't ask for help from people that I knew could help me. Um, it would just be silly and so whatever it is, whatever that passion is, whatever that dream is, of course you can do it. You can do it yourself but why not get help? Why not put your pride aside, ask for help and be receptive in receiving that help. So that's my little sprinkle of encouragement for the day. I hope that you guys feel encouraged and inspired to be receptive today and always. And I will see you guys on Sunday for a new upload. Take care and God bless. Bye.